Hallelujah. Why don't you open your Bibles to the book of Luke, the 19th chapter. We're going to read verses 1 through 9 in your hearing. And we'll give the subject and we're going to go ahead and preach this thing today. Amen. The weather is warming up here in the Bay Area. Glory to God. And so that means that this is evangelism season. Glory to God. You should be knocking on doors and looking up other things and saying, do you have Jesus? Hey! Glory to God. Luke chapter 19, verse 1 through 9. I'll be reading from the NIV. Amen, amen. And stay right there, Doc, right there with me, because I got on my praying and praising shoes on today, the ones with the tassel. Amen, amen. Here begin the reading of God's word. He entered Jericho and was passing through, and behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. And he was seeking to see who Jesus was. But on account of the crowd, he could not because he was small in stature. Verse 4 says, so he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was about to pass Jesus, that is, that way. Verse 5 says that when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to Zacchaeus, hurry down, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. Mm. Verse 6 says, so he hurried and came down and received him joyfully. Uh, but verse 7 is interesting. It says that when they, they, mm -hmm, saw it, they all grumbled. They said to themselves, he has gone to be the guest of a man who is a sinner? Verse 8. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. Verse 9. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house since he also is a son of Abraham. And I'm going to read verse 10 and closing. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. So far the scripture, if I was to give a subject for today, the question is, what is your plea? Right. Oh, glory to God. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, what is your plea? Turn to the other neighbor, and if there is no neighbor, look at the wall so the words will bounce back into your spirit. Neighbor, what is your plea? Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ah, Lord, I thank you. Let's jump on in. Hallelujah. This message was inspired by the criminal justice system. Glory to God. Many of us have watched court TV most of our lives. It's always some court case on TV so that we can find out whether the person was guilty or innocent. Glory to God. And today, this is the beginning of a two-week series, and I'm going to preach from the subject, generally, I need a conviction. Hallelujah. You write that down in your notes at home. Put it in the comments. I need a conviction. Today, we are going to be speaking from the position of being a defendant. Hallelujah. I need a conviction. But my question today is, what is your plea? In our criminal justice system, there is about a five-point formula that we all can follow and uh, we're familiar with when it starts with arrests. Anybody in here ever been arrested before? Hallelujah. That's when you are in a place by which you do not have the freedom of movement. Maybe it's because you are in handcuffs. Glory to God. Maybe it's because you are in a jail cell. Maybe it's because somebody with authority, legal authority, said you need to sit here until I'm done searching. Glory to God. It's a deprivation of your liberty by people or a spirit that has authority over you. In the text we see today that Zacchaeus was arrested by his handicap. Hallelujah. He was arrested by his human limitation. The scripture said that he was a man that was short in stature. And so he had to do something. 
Let me tell you this. His humanity was blocking him from his divinity, so he was self-aware enough to use the tools in his proximity to speak to the God of eternity. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that again, hallelujah, because somebody fell asleep. When you have a handicap, you've got to become creative. Hallelujah. Zacchaeus was aware of his handicap, and he was not going to let his humanity block his divinity. Hallelujah. And so he used the tools in his proximity to speak to the God of eternity. Hallelujah. I'm just summing up the scripture. Hallelujah. But then, but then, but then, hallelujah, there is the preliminary hearing. Hallelujah. I know I'm talking to some former defendants. Hallelujah. People who know what it's like to have to go through this process. Hallelujah. Y'all following me in here. Glory to God. Then comes the preliminary hearing. This is the information where the authorities have to make sure that they have enough information on you to make sure that the charges are going to stick. Hallelujah. Has there been anybody in here besides me that has been on the hot seat and all you can do is say, Lord, please don't let these charges stick. Hallelujah. Every lie that the enemy ever told on you, thank you, God, that the charges didn't stick. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Then we move, glory to God, into, ah, uh, God, the indictment. Glory to God. This is when there is an official reading, hallelujah, or announcement of written charges. Hallelujah. The book of Romans tells us that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you right along here, what is your plea? Ah, glory to God. Verse 2 lets us know Zacchaeus was guilty by profession. Uh huh. He was a publican. The scripture says that he was rich. He was a tax collector. A publican is a Jew that was commissioned by the Roman government to collect the taxes of other Jews, Jews while also enriching themselves in the process by theft. How many of you all know that people are in position and some of them are stealing money? Oh, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. This is uh, not only government corruption, but this is corruption also in the household of faith. Hallelujah. Zacchaeus was a publican. That means that he was levying false taxes on the people of God who couldn't do anything about it. Hallelujah. Why? Because Zacchaeus was also a Jew. Hallelujah. He was also employed by the Roman government. You can't get over, you can't get around him taking money from the people of God. Ah, this is the reason why some of us can't get a tax refund. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of us have that public and spirit. So when time comes for us to get a refund, the IRS say, no, you owe us money. Oh, God, hallelujah. Zacchaeus represents the I to the R to the S. So people really wasn't happy to see Zacchaeus. And maybe it was a blessing that he was a short man that nobody really could tell when he was around. Hallelujah. I want you to put your hands on your head and say, thank God for my handicap. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God that people can't see my handicap. We don't want to be handicapped, but sometimes God got to get the glory out of what you're struggling with. Oh, hallelujah. And then we move to the arraignment. Hallelujah. This is the formal accusation of the defendant where a plea of guilty or not guilty is entered. Hallelujah. The, my notes tell me that the defendant doesn't even have to be present if there is a written arraignment is filed on behalf of the defendant by their attorney. Then the defense attorney can write and you don't have to show up. Aren't you glad that your name is written in the Lions and the Lamb's Book of Life? Hallelujah. That your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That you don't even have to show up to all of the trials that your name has been called. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad that he calls you righteous? Hallelujah. Aren't you glad that he calls you the righteousness of God? That Jesus' written word tells you that you are not guilty? All right. Verse 5, hallelujah, says Jesus tells Zacchaeus to come down immediately as his defense attorney would call him as an inmate to come forward to meet him for conference. 
Hallelujah. We all know that when you are in jail, when you are in prison, you can only get out of your jail cell when your attorney comes. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We all know somebody, one of our cousins, or somebody been in jail, and you can only come out of your cell when there is a visitor. Amen. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad Jesus visited you in the prison of your handicap? Amen. Hey, glory to God. I'm so glad he didn't just let me sit there. But my God, my Savior, my Redeemer knows how to post bail. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. He's got a plan for me to come on up out of this handicap. Glory to God. In verse 6, Zacchaeus came down quickly and received Jesus joyfully in front of the hostile crowd. Hallelujah. We know that the crowd was hostile because the crowd started talking junk. And as soon as Jesus said, Zacchaeus, come down. Here comes the plea. Hallelujah. I'm just teaching y'all through this today. Verse 8 says, Zacchaeus stands up and pleads guilty on the record by confessing that he would give half of his goods to the poor. And I had to stop because I, I wanted to ask myself, if I was Zacchaeus and I had all this money, would I give half of my possessions to the poor? Oh my God. Hallelujah. But he didn't stop there. Hallelujah. His confession of stealing stolen property. He said, and if I had defrauded any of you, hallelujah, I'm going to restore you four times. Anybody in here have a, a heart transformation that when the Lord started dealing with you, you wanted to make amends. Hallelujah, you wanted to pay restitution for all of the criminal acts that you did, not only by law, but by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I came to let you know before we get out of here today that there is no need for a public trial. Hallelujah. Because Jesus turned my house. Hallelujah. From uh, hallelujah. He turned my house from a shack to a tabernacle. Hallelujah. He did it in a private meeting. Hallelujah. Anybody in here remember when you got saved? Hallelujah. When the Lord came into your situation and he turned, hallelujah, your trauma into triumph. Hallelujah. He did it. Sometimes it had to happen behind the scenes because the jury was already being selected. Hallelujah. The jury was already going to the stand and they were going to accuse you. Hallelujah. But aren't you glad that we have a mediator? Hallelujah. That can get your charges dropped. Hey, glory to God. I want to let you know that my plea is not guilty. Put your hand on yourself and say, my plea is not guilty hallelujah and so what is your conviction my conviction is hallelujah that Jesus saves my conviction is that Jesus saved hallelujah Jesus not only saved me but he's been saving the day I'm glad today to tell you that Jesus saved the day Hallelujah, yours might have been a Monday, yours might have been a Tuesday, yours might have been a Wednesday, Thursday or Friday or Saturday, but mine was a Sunday in December 1997. I witnessed the taking of a life that was so young, a friend of mine got into a car accident and he died from his injuries and I said Lord it could have been me it could have been me it should have been me but your grace and your mercy told the devil not this one I'm so glad today that not only am I not guilty but I'm free I'm free in Jesus, whom the sun set free. It's free in me. If you are free, let me hear you praise him. Say, thank God, I'm free. Thank God, no more chains are holding me. I'm free. I'm free. Devil, you can't have my family. Devil, you can't have my mind. Devil, you can't have my marriage. I'm free. Woo! Free to praise them. Free to worship. Free to 
to give God the glory. Free in my mind. Free in my body. Free in my vocation. My house shall be free. My house shall be free. Come on in here and praise them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then comes the sentencing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Here comes the sentencing. Hallelujah. What is the sentence for Jesus saving you? What do you got to do? Bad English. What do you got to do when Jesus has snatched you out? Hey, glory. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in Romans 3, 23, that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. What is my sentence? My sentence is eternal loyalty yeah, yeah, yeah. and servitude to the Savior, eternal and everlasting joy, love, and peace. Hallelujah. Is there anybody in here that's serving out their sentence? Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all got quiet on me. Y'all got quiet on me. Is there anybody in here serving out their sentence? Hallelujah. I'm going to serve the Lord until I die. Old people say,